welcome back everybody to my Sea of Stars playthrough. Hope you're all doing well. So far we are actually really enjoying the game. I haven't leveled up in a while, which is quite surprising. Chowdhury recipe. Any other secret little ways we can go here? Should have done better. That was terrible. Right, so we're gonna go for mana points. Damn, that lightning hits hard.
Okay, so that just leads back, I'm assuming. Something to catch it off guard. You got a lot of shortcuts on this game. I don't think I really want to know what's going on in there. <clears throat> There's a, a resting point up here first. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Be brave. What could this be? Yeah, I guess we don't come here yet then. Ho ho ho! Is it Father Christmas? children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage but I also sense one who does not belong here is he brave or foolish ooh let's find out oh my dears welcome young adventurers to this sacred pond nice to meet you elder mist my name's Gal my what a gregarious one you are Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for common folk. Children of the Stolstice, step forward. Oh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. And come closer. Let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Ooh, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, rest assured the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. 
Live mana? Ooh. It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you. The next time you enter battle, are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. The Elder Mist trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring solstice warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. Kira is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat. The warmth of his heart? Could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. Alright. Thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Not sure if I'm ready. Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Oh, that is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Face this power and your training will be complete. Whoa, I have to try that. Trials await. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Got speed. Alright, this is going to be interesting then, isn't it? Oh, he's weak. That's not good. That attack did nothing. A spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be. I feel a kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. How does it feel? Like power. So if I attack it, it should do magic damage now? That was amazing. I want to try it next. Alright, okay. set up camp because we need to heal Elder Mist Trials, after that, will officially be Solstice Warriors. This 
live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. So we rest and then we get back to it. Order, shall we? And some good uh, amount of items from these guys. Is that it? We're done here? Ah, we move that and then go back up the ladder. Wasn't too bad. Like the middle one's going to be the harder one, so. Tiny pearl. Oh, we must sell them for gold. We do need gold because we're running very low on heals and items and stuff.
Well, that one wasn't too hard either. Just to get our health back. Give it another wee little serve. See what this last tri uh, trial is going to be all about. To get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. With these two actions, which one regenerates MP? I hope I get these right. What is the name of the school you went to? I mean, that one was super easy. Mushroom scramble. One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during the Eclipse. There we go. Easy. Is that the boss? <laughs> Why do I feel like that looks like a boss? This is our last chance to prepare. Do you feel ready? Oh, ho, ho. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana. Can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Oh my dears. Face me, children of the solstice.
Okay, my sword's feeling better, is it? Not good. Oh, my dears. <laughs> if we died. Okay, okay. Try again. One more go. We can skip all this because we've already seen it all. Oh my goodness.
Oh, that was close. But we did it. Second time, lucky. GG's, everybody. Oh. How formidable. Ooh, a bright future awaits you indeed. Earlier and Zale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it. You're the best. Ah, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world, ho. Don't take too long now. Well, there we go. That's actually pretty fun, that. Good morning. Time has come to begin your journey. Morning? But it's the middle of the night. Ah, yes. I suppose your friends should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. You can do that. Oh, all it takes is for you to stand on the celestial rune, and then what? Something inside of you knows already, right this way. Now, concentrate and bring us the dawn. crazy how did you do that that's the coolest thing I've ever seen <laughs> that part is always easier by simply going for it now in your travels you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day they were put in place by the solstice warriors who came before you some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the order such as yourselves while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now, your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Ooh, berries and stuff. Could have done with them earlier. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, are you ready to be sent out into the world? Let us see you off then. First, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Still, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Delia, approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. 
girl. I get one too? Awesome! You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Girl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I'm sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Rafe Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Extol, be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extol and speak this one's name, which is Extol. Cool? Oh my days. Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. <laughs> oh my days. Oh, gal. What are you doing? And so it was that Valia and Zale were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, Aurea Cook in tow. In their quest to get to Rafe Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards, one by Anger Beset, the other of Life Beset. How cool is that? No way, that was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding, what a ride! Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. Ground level then? There's only one way we can get down from here. Ninety gold, we need that. Easy. Might interest a collector, eh?
for a little uh, portal like Wraith from Apex. Well guys, I think that's the perfect place to end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. We got our first little glimpses at a proper sort of boss fight. Uh, we did end up failing it once, but we managed to bash it out the second time. If you like the video, subscribe and join me on the next episode of my Sea of Stars playthrough. Bye now.